Eating is one of the greatest pleasures in life, and we all deserve to eat the foods we love. However, there are some foods that we as seniors shouldn't be eating on a regular basis. Since many seniors have decreased immunity and other age-related health concerns, they should avoid the foods I'm going to tell you about now. The first one is undercooked eggs. So, you like your eggs over easy or sunny side up, or maybe you like eggs benedict. You may have heard about the effects of eating raw eggs, but did you know that even eating undercooked eggs could also cause food poisoning? Undercooked eggs may contain harmful bacteria such as salmonella. It's estimated that 79,000 cases of food poisoning from salmonella-tainted eggs occur in the United States each year. In older adults, and even some not-so-old adults, a salmonella infection could be very serious. A mild salmonella infection could include symptoms such as fever, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. A rare but more severe infection may lead to inflammation of the pancreas or bloodstream infections. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I've been eating eggs over easy all my life, and I've never had food poisoning or a salmonella infection. Well, as older adults, we typically have weaker immune systems than younger people so we're more vulnerable to these type of infections. Now remember, this doesn't mean you have to stop eating eggs. They're a great food source. It's just important to cook eggs so that the whites and yolks are firmly set. You don't have to cook them so they're like rubber. Just cook them enough so the whites and yolks start to become firm, no liquid, and that's when they're safest to eat. If you have a food thermometer, it's recommended to cook eggs to 160 degrees to kill the harmful bacteria. This can greatly reduce the risk of infection. Number two on the list is grapefruit. Generally speaking, grapefruit is a very nutritious fruit. It's loaded with vitamin C and other nutrients. It may also help you reduce your blood pressure and other risk factors for heart disease. So, why would I say that seniors should avoid grapefruit? Well, not all seniors should avoid it. But the fact is, Many seniors, if not most, are on medications that are known to interact with grapefruit and eating it can have potentially dangerous effects. These would include medicines to lower blood pressure, cholesterol, and various others. If you're on medications and you want to eat grapefruit, it's extremely important that you ask your doctor or pharmacist if it's okay. If you're not on medications, go ahead and enjoy this healthy fruit whenever you like. Number three on the list is raw or undercooked seafood. Raw or undercooked seafood can carry dangerous bacteria, viruses, and parasites. One of the most common sicknesses caused by eating raw or undercooked fish is a type of food poisoning called norovirus infection. This can cause abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Eating raw or undercooked fish can also put you at risk of a parasitic disease called anisakiasis. These are worms that can invade the stomach lining or intestines. Salmon is one of the more likely types of fish to be contaminated with these parasites. Parasites can be destroyed by freezing fresh seafood for at least four full days. Eating raw shellfish, such as scallops, oysters, and clams, can cause an illness called vibrosis. This is something you definitely want to avoid. Symptoms may include diarrhea, stomach pain, fever, chills, and vomiting. These symptoms can be mild to severe. For people with weakened immune systems, which includes a lot of seniors, the symptoms of fibrosis can be very severe or even life-threatening. Eating raw shellfish, especially oysters, could also put you at risk for hepatitis A. Seniors typically have weaker immune systems, so they're more susceptible to contracting foodborne illnesses than younger people. Number four on the list is canned soups. Many seniors eat soup because it's fast and easy to prepare and loaded with flavor. But did you know that most canned soups are extremely high in sodium? The average can of soup contains 700 milligrams of sodium. If you want to lower your chances of developing high blood pressure, weight gain, inflammation, heart attack, and stroke, then it's a good idea to avoid high salt foods such as canned soups. As we get older, our sensitivity to salt increases, along with our chances of developing salt-sensitive high blood pressure. According to the CDC, 
people over the age of 50 should consume no more than 1500 milligrams of sodium per day. Along with lots of sodium, some canned soups are also high in calories and fat. For example, a can of Campbell's Creamy Chicken Noodle Soup contains 460 calories, 28 grams of fat, and 10 grams of that fat is saturated fat, which is the artery clogging type, and a whopping 1720 milligrams of sodium. That's more sodium than people over 50 should have in an entire day. It's also about the same amount of sodium you would get from eating about 150 Lay's Classic Potato Chips. So if you're going to eat canned soups, it's recommended to look for soups that contain less than 350 milligrams of sodium per serving. Number five on the list of foods you should avoid is highly processed meats. Personally, I love the flavor of a hot dog cooked on the grill. However, highly processed meats such as hot dogs, deli meats, sausage, and bacon have been associated with an increased risk of developing stomach cancer and colorectal cancer. Not to mention, they typically have unhealthy levels of salt and saturated fat. The World Health Organization classified processed meat as a group 1 carcinogen. So what does that mean? It simply means there's enough evidence that eating processed meats can cause cancer. To put it in perspective, smoking cigarettes is also considered group 1 carcinogenic to humans. Now, of course, eating processed meats is not nearly as bad as smoking cigarettes, but they both are considered group 1 carcinogens, which means they do cause cancer. Number 6 on the list is soda pop. A 16-ounce Coke has 45 grams of sugar. That's 7 teaspoons. Too much sugar can lead to diabetes and increase your risk of heart disease. And according to Harvard Health, it can raise blood pressure and increase chronic inflammation. It's also bad for your teeth because it promotes tooth decay. But it's not just the excessive amounts of sugar that you get in these sweet carbonated beverages. Most carbonated sodas, particularly colas, contain phosphoric acid. This can be rough on the kidneys. Drinking darker sodas, such as colas, is more likely to contain phosphoric acid than clear carbonated drinks like ginger ale. It's been reported that drinking soda daily was associated with an increased risk of chronic kidney disease. Drinking colas has also been associated with kidney stones, which we all know are no fun. Phosphoric acid is made of the mineral phosphorus, and your body gets this mineral from lots of different foods, but getting too much of it by drinking lots of soda can also put you at risk for osteoporosis. It does this by interfering with the absorption of calcium. According to the National Library of Medicine, a seven-year study was made of people who consumed high amounts of carbonated sodas. These people had increased their risk of bone fractures. Another study shows that people who drank soda every day actually doubled their risk of breaking a bone. The reason that they use phosphoric acid in soda is to reduce the fungus and bacteria and increase the shelf life. Oh, and it can also add a little tartness to the flavor. You'll find phosphoric acid in regular and diet sodas, so you're not doing yourself any favors by switching to diet. However, if you're going to drink sodas, it's recommended that you drink less of it and choose clear sodas that are less likely to contain phosphoric acid, such as flavored seltzers or ginger ale. And number seven on the list is fried foods. The most unhealthy way to cook food is to fry it in oil. Frying foods can increase their calorie content significantly. This is because the food absorbs and locks in the fat. If you eat food that's loaded with fat, it can give you high cholesterol and high blood pressure. This is even worse for people over 50, since a lot of us already have high blood pressure and cholesterol. Fried foods are higher than most foods in saturated and trans fats. Trans fats have been linked to increased risk of cancer, heart disease, obesity, and strokes. Saturated fat can promote the buildup of plaque in your arteries. When this happens, your risk increases for coronary artery disease, along with heart attack and stroke. So when you have a choice in how your food's cooked, grilled is much better than fried. For example, grilling chicken enables the excess fat to drain off instead of being locked in the food. 
There are also several other ways that food can be cooked. It can be broiled, baked, stewed, roasted, poached, or braised. And all of these are much healthier than frying. If eliminating fried foods is out of the question, hopefully this information will get you to at least cut down. People are living much longer now than they ever did in the past. Many seniors are living well past 80, 90, and some are even living to 100 years old or longer. This is why it's so important to incorporate a healthy diet into our lifestyles now. Then we can live a healthy life and enjoy our old age and life as long as possible. Do you plan to eat less of any of these things we talked about today? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you're a senior citizen or you care for one, please share this important information with them. Lastly, be sure to like this video and subscribe to see more healthy tips like these.